in it. All right, we got the High Boy 26 inch fat tire e-bike here with these super fat tires that are four inches thick. Look at that, man. These are puncture resistant. I'm gonna put this bike to the test. I wanna see how fast this bike is. Supposedly it gets 28 miles per hour, 60 mile range with pedal assist, electric only, up to 30 miles range. So we're gonna test this bike out and we're gonna see what this bike's about. It's such an affordable, ridiculously affordable price, man, that it seems like a lot of bang for your buck, but we'll see in this video. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get this bike, by the way, I have a link to it, and you can get $100 off if you use the promo code Cycle Cruiser. That's in the description and comment section below. If you want to Just to give you a little overview of this high boy fat tire e-bike, it has 26 inch wheels with uh, super fat tires that are four inches thick. These are puncture resistant. It's got a 750 watt uh, rear hub motor there. It has a hydraulic front fork with preload adjustment and a lockout feature. A throttle that's integrated into the grip. It's got a nine speed Shimano uh, gear shifter. Um, it has uh, five speeds, pedal assist and electric only. Um, it has a, a battery meter on there, odometer. It's got warning lights on there. It's got a, uh, a LED headlight. Uh, it's got a horn. Um, this is aluminum frame. I'm telling you these wheels are super lightweight. It has mechanical disc brakes. It's got a kickstand here. I like these fat pedals there. It has a removable battery, 48 volt, 13 amp hour removable battery. The bike weighs exactly 65 pounds that I verified on my scale. I'm going to put it all the way into fifth. Fifth. The fastest it can go. We're going to see how fast it can go. I got the GPS here to verify it. Um, one thing I'll say right off the bat is that this this throttle that's integrated in the grip i don't really care for that as much i like the ones where you push with your thumb um, just because you can make by accident you can grab this and then turn the throttle by accident and then the bike will ghost ride on you and you can a con right off the jump and i'm gonna keep it real with you guys let's by the way i got my helmet on and everything normally i don't wear a full face helmet on my bike and all and i got my armored hoodie and stuff on but I don't know how this bike's going to be, so I want to stay safe, but I'd, I'd like to have my helmet for my, my camera. Okay, so let's go. All right, here's electric only. We'll see how fast we can get with this. Electric only. Man, I tell you, these fat tires make for a smooth ride. Oh, my gosh. Way better than the mountain bike I had with those little thin tires, man. These fat tires are nice. Man, it makes for a really soft ride. I'm telling you, it feels really good. Really good, smooth ride. Check it out. We got 27. They say 28. This is all electric. 28 miles per hour. All electric. Put it in ninth gear here. And I'm doing pedal assist. Oh, man, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm telling really with these e-bikes, you don't need to go any faster than 28 miles an hour, man. Look, I'm cooking already at 30 miles an hour just doing the pedal assist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. This thing is cooking, boy. <laughs> 31 miles an hour. This bike rides so smooth. Let's check how it shifts. The shifting is pretty smooth too. The seat is pretty comfortable. The seat is fine. I thought the seat would be really hard and uncomfortable, but the seat is very comfortable. I tell you guys, right off the jump, I'm really impressed with this high boy e-bike here with these fat, fat tires, man. Oh my gosh, it makes for such a comfortable ride. It's like I'm riding on clouds. <laughs> Man, that is nice. Oh my gosh, that's a smooth ride, man. This is my first e-mountain bike. All right, now let's take it out here on the mountain bike trail. All right, it's muddy too, man. Right off the jump, this is very awesome on dirt right here on this trail. It just, these fat tires just soak up the bumps and everything on this, man. And here we got mud, we got tree roots, 
boom 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 oh i forgot to unlock the the hydraulic suspension okay there we go now we got some dampening because i was like oh it's kind of rough but i had the suspension the front fork locked out okay we, i'm telling you this thing shifts really smooth went ahead and shifted it down here oh my gosh <laughs> of course we would have to have a great big old log here and i tell you this bike being 65 pounds it's easy to lift it up over it all right boom check it out oh my gosh that was easy we got lots of mud here check it out man handling like nothing nothing oh my gosh this is a proper oh look at that these fat tires just ride over everything man nice this is awesome what a bang for your great bang for your buck with this bike I don't think I've ever been on this trail before <laughs> the other one is closed the proper mountain bike trail but uh, this is a proper one too but I've never been on this one all right check it out riding over rocks tree roots we'll see what this bike can do all right check it out. I got an electric only mode right now and I got it on power level 2 which is plenty all right check it out Let's see what we got here oh my gosh this bike it rides so nice you know usually these uh, your more budget bikes like this usually don't ride that great but this thing rides like a five thousand dollar bike man i'm not kidding this is nice what i love about e-bikes is you get a nice workout in with the power assist though it doesn't put pressure on your joints at all for people that have arthritis i don't have any issues but it's really nice it makes it so much more smooth and fun and you still get a cardio workout look at that boom 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 front forks handling like nothing boom look at all these tree roots boom 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 look at that oh man look at this tons of tree roots right here look at boom this is really testing the suspension out Woo! boom boom nice oh my gosh look at that. this is awesome man this is literally right down the street from my house guys oh my gosh this is awesome it's my first time on this trail i didn't realize there was so many different trails that they had don't want to slide down that hill because set me up for a real effed up day oh my gosh i'm really impressed with this bike so far guys here we go now this is kind of scary this is sketch here guys I'm going to get down to that creek so I can do some creek action over there. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's see what these brakes can do, man. These mechanical brakes. Uh-oh. I want to have an effed up day. Not today, baby. Look at this. Sketch. Sketch. These brakes are coming through. Glad I got my dual sport boots on. Oh no. Woo! Oh, the bike came through for me. Oh my goodness. Woo! That felt dangerous. <laughs> Could have had a real effed up day. Oh my goodness. Now I want to do some creek action up in here. Alright, let's see what this can do, man, on these rocks. Check it out. Oh man, gripping like a boss. No slippage, nothing on these rocks. Check it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got the power assist. I'm doing all electric here, actually. Okay, let me pedal through it and see how it goes. All right, check it out. Dang, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Hand it like a boss. Look at that. Man, for the price you pay for this, this is unreal, guys. 
these 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 tires are legit oh my gosh look at that Woo! Woo! <laughs> Now we got to try to get up on out of here. Let's see if I can get this out of here. All right, playing in the creeker. Okay, power mode five. Check it out. Man, it gets up there too quick. I got to put it in the lower power mode. All right, put it on two. All right, Gary, head up there like a boss. Oh man, oh my God, this bike is legit. Look at that, woo! Okay, now the true test guys, let's see if this can get me back up the hill. It could do is uh, up to 15 degrees, but we'll see here. I'm gonna put this on five, <laughs> if this can get me up here. I'm gonna see if it can do it on pure electric. If not, then I'll do uh, pedal assist too. But here, is, right here is just straight up electric. First, I gotta get up over this log here and I'll tell you these fat tires man they go right up over over these bumps okay I tell you right there I don't want to <laughs> slip and fall down in there boy alright let's see if this can get me up here alright let's go nope it's not going to happen on electric only I'll tell you that so let me get off it's muddy too though alright this Oh shit, this is a lot of mud, man. Okay, let me put it on two. All right. With me on, there's no way it could take this. It's too muddy, too. Oh man, I could hardly walk up it. Shoot. I tell you, this assist comes in real handy. We're getting you up the hill. All right, all right. It was too muddy for for to tackle that. That would have been even tough on my my dirt bike because it would have been sliding. This thing is a dream off road, man. Seriously, I'm good for most of what you guys are gonna do. What you guys are not gonna be probably doing what I just did, crapping around in the creeker. This is awesome, man. This bike is it's legit. I like. It. Now let's go test it. Tested in muddy grass here. This should be nothing, but I thought I'd just do it anyhow. This is super saturated grass here. Riding over like nothing. Just like like riding over nothing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, these fat tires are just amazing. I think everybody should have this, man. These tires are awesome. All right, now just riding it as a bicycle, by the way, it rides very smooth here. Let me put it in. I got it in a high gear right now. Let me drop it down. I'll tell you, this shifter, Shimano 9-speed shifter works good, man. As a regular bicycle without any, any power at all, it's great, man. Rides smooth, easy to pedal easy to shift so if you ever run out of power and you just need to ride it as a bicycle to get back home or whatever it does it just fine like any other bicycle but smoother with these fat tires and i still got full power guys i not even one bar disappeared yet we'll see if this bad boy can ride up a hill let me see this hill here put it on lower gear here we go we'll take this here look at this big bump here boom no problem no problem guys no problem handle that curve like nothing so we got some stairs here man
Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to test the full range out of a full charge with this bike because we got a lot of rain. But I did get a lot of riding in as you saw in this video and I still had a lot of power bars left. I can definitely foresee this bike getting more than 40 plus miles range. They say you can get 60 and pedal assist. I'll let you know in a future review video, but I'll tell you this. I don't like that throttle there that's integrated into the grip because when I go to like lift the bike up or move it or something, I end up hitting that throttle and it ghost rides. I wish they changed that to like a thumb throttle or some other type of throttle. I'm going to try to make that modification, but otherwise, guys, I was blown away by this bike. This is the best bang for your buck e-mountain bike, uh, dirt bike, whatever you want to call it, man. Those four-inch thick fat tires are are the truth guys <laughs> you saw in this video they didn't slip one time in the creek and on those slippery rocks in the mud it rides like like it's on a cloud on the, on the road as far as the brakes they're a bit squeaky but they are adequate it kept me from wiping out going down that steep cliff down to the creek i'll tell you that man the seat was pretty comfortable which was shocking to me because at first i thought it would be a bit stiff um, the sh it shifted fine, never had any derailments. Um, overall, I have to say, this is a quality bike. Uh, like I said, if you want to get this bike, I have a link in the description and comment section of this video. And if you want to save 100 bucks, use code CYCLECRUISER. I will be doing a future long-term review on this bike and comparing it to some of my other e-bikes in the future. So stay tuned for that. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think about this bike? Make sure to hit that thumbs up helps my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release but I release new videos every Sunday Tuesday and Thursday at 11 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe